You know, we yeah, need to share and, our passions together. And the thing is, is that it, it looks like here Twitch is more going for making sure that people are being appropriate than trying to segregate people. Because obviously, look, there's always going to be the case where someone is going to believe that uh, a person's getting carried or someone's doing something that they shouldn't be there. There's always going to be hate, and unfortunately among some gamers that's going to really be the case. Mm -hmm. When you, especially when you see someone playing uh, a competitive game. You know, you do something wrong, someone's going to be like, you suck, why do you have a Twitch, why do you have a stream, whatever like that. I mean, when you, when you look at what Twitch has written here as far as what you shouldn't or shouldn't be doing, like it, it mentioned things like lingerie, swimsuits, <laughs> uh, pasties, undergarments. Yeah. Which, so, I mean... Yeah, it, they, they, they went to the extreme. At, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, it's like you said, like it, it doesn't matter... Like, if it comes down to a person getting carried, it doesn't matter whether they're male, they're female, whoever. If you don't play good and people are carrying you along, you're carrying you along no matter who you are. It doesn't matter. You know? I think the, the, the thing with, with Twitch is it was one of those, like, hey, we tried to make everybody happy. There were still some riffs. Now they're kind of trying to, like, all right, this is the blanket statement is we're going to sit there and lay these ground rules, and that way we can't say that it's, like, you know, this we're not going to make the exception for anybody type of thing. Um, and I think it's it's interesting that they're doing that. I mean, it's, it's a bold move on their end to go to that extreme and be like, this is what it's going to be. I mean, granted, not that I think I've ever seen uh, anybody in general have like a swimsuit or pasties <laughs> or anything like that on Twitch <laughs> regardless. I You've mean, just been watching the wrong... Long streams. That's that, I was about to say, that or I'm just watching the wrong streams. Yeah, but, like, streams with me. but but it's funny because, like you were saying, if you read into that 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 passage that they put, it's not just females that they're saying. Like if any man is sitting there with his shirt off streaming, they could get banned too. That's right. Show a titty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I'm curious about that though. I, I really want to know uh, what gamer guy is doing that. Like, all right, guys, here I'm going to show you how to play the new Battlefield Hardline. But before I do that, I need to grease up. <laughs> Let me take off my shirt and grease oh, up. I'd love to see if you've seen that one dude from the UFC that got that like heavy set guy that's been winning a ton of matches. Like, I'd just love to see a guy just do one of those like. <laughs> right on the stage, just, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, that's it, man. We're gonna get banned from YouTube now. That, see, you, you just you just killed it. I just you, killed it. Man boobs. That big. Come swear, on, that's it. Watching watching those UFC fights, this guy, this dude kicks these people. Like you see every single UFC fight. I can't remember what this dude's name is. It's Roy something, but he goes in every single one of his his. His opponents, these like cock diesel guys, and he's sitting there, this like heavy set dude, and they look at him like, man, I'm gonna beat his ass in ten seconds. And three minutes later, they're on the floor like, what the hell just happened? And he's jumped up on the cage, rubbing his stomach like, that's right, bitch. I want this. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Apparently, they also no longer will allow adult oriented games, nor they will allow like uh, drinking games or yeah, drink they... well drink drinking excessively. Yeah, or they. they uh, I heard about that. Like they basically put a blanket ban on any game that's rated adults only. Um, yeah. and it's it's yeah. I heard about that. Like that, like and it's funny because if you look at the list, like one of them is like uh, GTA Four, or not GTA Four, <laughs> uh, San Andreas. San Andreas is like banned because of the hot coffee mod that came out. Oh. On it. Yeah. So like even that and like what are the what are the, the the YouTube channels I follow? They're like you know it's funny that they banned you know uh, San Andreas yet you could still uh, stream that game that like ride to hell that like really crappy <laughs> really crappy biker gang game where like instead of having sex they dry hump. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you gotta look at Twitch's end. I mean they're a business. They're trying to you know. Go make to money out there, so they have to keep it as PC as possible because there's parents out there that are going to complain. There's people that are always going to complain. You know, this video offended me. That I can't believe I saw that. So I'm pretty sure the owners of Twitch don't care if there's naked people on the video, but keep their business going and not have that, you know, stereotype of being slutty or sleazy. They have to put in some type of restriction. So 
Shoot, think about like when when the PlayStation camera came out for the PS4. All the damn people that were using the Share Factory were basically having sex while playing video games. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think one thing to keep in mind also is that, look, let, let's face it, people know what gamers want, and if, you know, as much as you may have people online, especially you have some male gamers that, that may talk shit about female gamers, it's been shown that if you have a, a female gamer either on a show or on your Twitch stream or something, it's going to garner hits. I think yeah. that maybe sometimes what you'll see is... You know, people will go to the extreme. You know, if you're if you're good at your game, you're gonna get hits, male gamer, female gamer, anything. If you have to get to the point where you're getting nude or doing all this extra stuff, then you're kind of selling yourself short. You know what sells, but you don't have to go to the extreme to sell it. It's almost you know, look, look at IGN or you look at anything like that. They know what they're doing when you look at their articles and they have a pretty girl on the article. Yeah, they'll have the guys too, but they clearly have most of their articles. They have a, a pretty girl on the on the article beforehand because they know that guys are more likely to click to to watch that than if they than if they had a guy on there. So I mean, it's, come on. It's almost it's the same clear. thing if you think about like the whole argument of like the E3 with the booth babes and da da da. And if you look at like <laughs> PAX, PAX they've like completely eliminated the booth. Like they will not allow a company to have booth babes at at any of the PAX events because they're like, you know what, these conventions should be about the games, not the advertising for the game. You know. And I remember when that got into a huge hoopla over that, and it was like, you know, it it, it makes sense in what their side of the story is, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, but people, some people like that, you know? I mean, hell, if you look at even some of the game, like the, the conventions, the cosplaying, you know, that people cosplay, it's like, if you're going to cut out and segregate that of no booth babes, then are you going to sit there and put limits on if I want to cosplay as a, you know, as... Is freaking you know a, a, a red Sonya and all that, and not be allowed to come in and this and that. It's like, where do you draw the line on that? And that's where it, it, it gets into a big tough thing. Like you say, it's you gotta allow it to happen. You can't just allow the extreme to happen. <laughs> you know. Or we could all just start wearing burkas, and then that way, <laughs> attractive or non-attractive, <laughs> everybody is safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not uh, uh, no, no, you Guys don't like that. Oh, okay. Well, fine. That that's it. You can't be in my universe. Yeah, new rule. New rule. Twitch. Everyone wears a burka. That's it. Burka. That's how we solve this problem. All right. You know what? That's you know it. What? It's giving attention to Twitch. So now I'm pretty sure that's oh. raised the viewership. Just because there's a little controversy, it's like, oh, naked girls. Oh, where do I go to see that? You know. I mean, <laughs> Wait, they used to be naked girls? When does this go into effect? Can, I, can, I be naked? can, can you go to some moratorium until Christmas so I can be naked until Christmas? Exactly. I, mean, I need the monies. I need the monies for Christmas. It's publicity that's working in their favor, you know? Maybe Twitch can uh, sell, like, you know, shirts that are just, you know, enough, and they're like, okay, you can have this much cleavage, and it's like a Twitch-approved cleavage shirts, and then they'll be like, okay, I'll buy it, and then you can wear those on a Twitch broadcast. And that's how that's how I think the marketer, you know. It, it, call me, call that, me Twitch. Now that Pat, now that Pat says that, it's like, huh, if you sit there and think about it, it's interesting that this article came out here to stir up this controversy just a little after YouTube started their streaming gaming service. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes you think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things that make you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that is another topic for another show. <laughs>